What I find most exciting and unique about the Shangri-La collection is its emphasis not just on modernity, but on making. It's clear that from her very first years of collecting, Doris was very interested in craft. We have examples of this in terms of embroidered Suzanese from Central Asia, or Kaimia, embroidered tent panels from 19th century Egypt. These are not fine art objects. They were made by women or people relatively low in the socioeconomic strata. And Doris saw past that. She was able to grasp their historic and aesthetic significance at a time when very few other people were. When she began her collecting in the 1930s and 40s, the Qajar and Ottoman eras had just ended. So what we need to remember is that for all intents and purposes, Doris was collecting modern art. And that tells me that she was interested in the now. She was interested in artists who had a finger on the pulse of her time, who were making social and cultural commentaries about her world. And I find that very forward thinking of Doris to realize immediately with no formal training that Islamic art is not temporally bound. Salam aloha. A little louder. Salam aloha. Salam aloha is the beginning of a conversation between Mother Earth and Father Sky. Mountains and rivers, oceans and lakes. So Salam Aloha has essentially been my mantra for these last three weeks here as part of uh, the artist in residency at the Shangri-La. The two words coming together embodies, in my mind, the essence of this place. This is how I feel for you. So, if they ask you what's the mask is like, just tell them that it's like a glimpse into the... That's right. So if they ask you what's the mask is like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. Getting to have conversations with local hip hop artists and high school students at workshops and talking to graduate students about what's happening in the world today and then performing on stage. It's all of that that really made this such a fulfilling experience for me. I'm an artist, a painter. I'm a designer, work with textiles, work with craftspeople. I'm an educationist also kind of an activist, I would say, because it, I do try and work for the community over there and see that things that are going amiss are put right. This is my latest body of work in which I have tried to focus back, really to go back into myself. And so the body of work that has come through is going through many layers of my own memory through the programs. There are just so many people that I ended up meeting. Each one of them have given me something precious. To be surrounded by all of this amazing examples of Islamic thought and art and ingenuity. And I'm here dancing in this magical place, surrounded by the brilliance of those who came before me. That experience alone is unfathomable. What was that? Fiery breath? Look like you ain't got no energy left? It's just think. amazing to see how something that came out of like Dora Stoops' appreciation for the Muslim world, where she was like so inspired by this beauty that she saw but now it's become something more powerful, a symbol of cultures coming together. And then to do residencies and be around this, in this time period with what we're dealing with, that is a very special gift. <laughs> <laughs>